Very nice to meet you. So uh, I'm here because I am a distinguished uh, microbiology lecturer for the IEEE. Uh, it's an international organization for electric engineers. Uh, I'm really here to give a technical talk, but uh, I have the honor and pleasure also to visit your school and meet with you. Uh, as was suggested, I'll talk a little bit about maybe the school structure in the United States. So in the United States, So in the United States, the school structure uh, is different in each state. Uh, most of the time, like for most of the states, uh, it started from maybe the year of six, uh, from grade one, and then goes all the way to grade five, and they call it elementary school, or here I believe they call it primary school. And after that, uh, students move to middle school, and after middle school, it's high school. So I guess the structure is pretty similar. So something different is that in the United States, elementary math education is really lagging behind. So kids do not like math, and they have trouble with math. Uh, also in the States, there's a lot of immigrants, like from India, from China, from Korea, and their children in general have much better math. So for those Asian kids who go to school, sometimes they feel boring because the math is not very too simple. Uh, because of the same reason, uh, the education in math is lagging behind. Then when the children uh, get to the age to go to college, they prefer to go to a school of law, school of business. Uh, not many people want to learn engineering or science. And the government has realized this issue. So uh, in recent years, they really put a lot of emphasis trying to stimulate the interest of uh, kids in math and science, basically STEM education, or today it's STEAM. So science, technology, engineering, math. Also, they added the word A stands for art. So they want this type of education to be started early and to engage the very young children, like for example, from year old, five, year old, six, uh, get them started with math education. So that's pretty much my feeling about the US system. And uh, I'm also uh, very impressed uh, today when I visited the institute and when I came here, I see you have really nice facility. The building is beautiful and the facility is very nice, and people have really high spirits. So uh, uh, I would like to say uh, congratulations. Great job, everyone. You have an excellent job in educating uh, young Indian children. So I really respect you guys. Thank you so much. How to build up the uh, interest of students in technology. Suppose uh, children from our institutes want to go out of country for higher education. So which kind of technology they should be aware of? Like, which will help them in other countries or they will not short fall or short in any manner. So will you please guide us in that? I believe the question is about how to go overseas, like pursue higher education, right? So uh, in general, the U.S. government uh, really, especially those high-tech companies, they really welcome international students because uh, especially for students coming from Asia, they have much stronger background in math. So I'll say demonstrating capability in math, uh, in physics, chemistry, this is really great. And uh, to be more specific, for students to apply to US universities, uh, they have to take a test such as GRE. And for the GRE test, math is one of the most important. And uh, after math, it's reading comprehension. So they should be able to read uh, easily, understand. Uh, I'm not talking about understand the newspaper. Instead, in the test, they give you paragraphs 
from technical papers or science papers, and uh, you have to demonstrate, you can grab the idea, uh, catch the main information over there. So reading capability is also important. Math, reading, uh, the third thing, or the last thing is writing. So you also have to write an essay. So the writing has to be really key to the point to demonstrate you can express your opinion, your key point to other people, you can convince other people. Yeah, that's a great question. Thank you. So I want to ask one question. As the, the AI technology, artificial intelligence, is booming. And in India, I, I think that uh, it is being learned only in the engineering graduation uh, stage. So uh, this is the schooling structure up to 10. So why not to study AI, machine learning, deep learning up to 10? research in the summer, uh, if you have good students, then definitely make a recommendation through the professor here and we can make the connection and get started. For the regarding AI, that's a great, great question. So AI definitely we have to start early. And in the United States, uh, kids start to learn programming very, like six years old, seven years old, they can take online classes. And when they uh, start learning programming, they use a graphic interface. Instead of writing, they actually put the blocks together, like scratch, do that to learn. Uh, on the other hand, there is also a danger of doing this. If too many people dive into AI, there could be a saturated market, especially like chat G, uh, GPT is now open and everyone can use that. And that tool itself can write code. A lot of routine code, there is a possibility in the future is going to be written by computer, by AI. And that being said, potentially there could be a reduction on manpower requirements for writing code. But no one knows, this is debatable. So a lot of debate is actually taking place in the United States. Are we going to have more people in computer science or are we going to have less people in computer science? Uh, for example, recently Amazon, Google, a lot of companies are laying off employees. So on the one side, we have seen a huge boost of productivity by AI. On the other side, people are wondering, would one day AI actually makes people working on AI lose job because AI replaces human workforce? Hello. Exactly, yeah, yeah. 
Right. Yeah, it's for combat, international collaboration.
learn a second language that you learn another language besides English during this class? What was the language you learned? Chinese. Chinese? Spanish. Oh, wow. Spanish? Okay. Oh, nice. Nice. That's great. And how many of us have experienced like going to another Thank you. 